All right, everyone. This is a follow-up to Michael's Breckwell P23 pellet stove controller. Uh, this is a follow-up because I've been having difficulty making this controller's convection fan go through the different speeds. And I think I finally beat it. I think I got it. So shortly, um, my 10 minutes startup period, there we go, uh, will come to an end and we'll see that the ignition light will go off at that time. Okay, Google, thank you. At that time, we'll be able to tell that, uh, we'll, we'll be able to have control of the combustion blower. So right now I'm feeding 1.9 volts and the combustion blower simulator bulb is on. I've also got the uh, blower from my own pellet stove, my test bench, connected to my uh, test unit here so that this controller can control it. So just now we've passed the 10 minutes and 30 mark and we see that the ignition, the igniter has gone off. So that's functioning correctly. And I have the combustion blower running, the red light, and we're at 1.6 volts. Now if I increase, if I press on the combustion button, I can step through the uh, LEDs and as I do that, we see that the light goes brighter and dimmer with every step of the button. And at the same time, I don't know if you can hear it, uh, the blower itself on my stove in the background makes a louder noise to tell me that it's spinning faster. So let's listen. And we can see the same thing on my voltmeter. I'll go back to the lowest speed, 1.6 volts, 1.8 volts, 1.9 volts, and 2. Point, missed it, 2.4 volts, 2.6 volts, 7 volts. So there it is. Uh, everything seems to be functioning normally. So the key here is on this Breckwell controller, as with the others, uh, to control the auger speed, we need to be past the 10-minute startup period. And if I want to go to maximum speed instantly, I can do that with the button on the controller on off. And we can see the voltage, we can hear the fan, and we can see the light. So the other thing I can prove here is that the auger will work by pressing the button. There it is. So from a main uh, repair point of view, it looks like this one is functioning correctly again. Thanks, Michael.